Hi, I'm Allison Buchholz Al, and we're going to take a quick tour of Get First Experiences, the pull request experience, and Live Share in Visual Studio 2019. Here we've got our start window, and one of the great things about it is that I can immediately clone or check out code from a repository instead of having to open Visual Studio to get to the clone dialog or use the command line. I can quickly paste in uh, a Git repository URL if I have it on hand, or I can access my Azure DevOps repositories here. I know that I'm looking for something called VS 2019, so let's search for that. Great, there it is. So let's go ahead and clone it. Awesome, now that it's cloned, I'm gonna go ahead and open my solution for this project. Now that my projects have been restored and I've got my tests here, let's go ahead and run them all to see the state of our project. Let's go ahead and debug this test to see what's going wrong. Bummer, it looks like we've got an exception. Now, I could try and fix this myself, but I'd really rather have the expert in this matter, John, help me out. So I'm gonna go ahead and start a live share session. In Visual Studio 2019, LiveShare now comes in box, which is great because you don't have to download an extension to get all the awesome features it provides you. Now that I've got my link to start a LiveShare session, I'll tab over to my Teams chat and ask John for help. I've pasted the link in, and on his side, when he clicks on it, it will bring up either Visual Studio or Visual Studio code in order to offer a look into what's going on on my side. The great thing is he won't have to download my repository or set up his own environment. He can just join via LiveShare, as you see he has now, and he'll get a view into my code and my project system. So you'll see here he's taking advantage of the co-editing capabilities by typing in a comment that says hi, um, and I'm always able to see where he is. So as he's looking around, he can figure out what he'd like to fix or add. Awesome, so it looks like all I needed was a null check here. And you might think, wow, he typed that really fast. But really, he gets the same sort of language services that I get on my side. So for example, these refactorings that quickly add a null check he had access to and was able to use to fix this issue. Awesome, looks like he also set a breakpoint there. One great thing about LiveShare is that you can have a code debugging experience as well. But I think I'm done and I don't really need his help anymore, so I'm gonna end our live share session and save that change he made. One other thing I'd like to do is go ahead and navigate to my own home controller so that I can make a refactoring change. Our team wants to use link queries instead of for each, so I'm gonna go ahead and convert that and save. Now I think I'm ready for a pull request. With the pull requests for Visual Studio extension, I can do that from within the comfort of my IDE. Here you'll see I've got the pull request option right within Team Explorer, and I can go ahead and create a new pull request. I'll fix everything to my liking. I'm gonna mark it urgent because I want feedback as soon as possible, and I'm gonna add John back in in case he has any other comments for me, and I can click Create. Now I have successfully created a pull request. While I wait for John to add some comments, I can go ahead and check out this pull request that's been assigned to me and go ahead and open it directly from within Visual Studio. I'll get discussion comments for the pull request all up and I can right click and add a comment if I'd like, or I can double click on any file that has been changed, see what changes have been made. All right, that looks good and add a comment myself. Looks great. Awesome, and I can comment that. And then my coworker Mary on her side will be able to open this pull request and see my comment. I can also approve it right from within Visual Studio.